This is the scene from Kotzebue after heavy coastal flooding and high winds hit the western coast. Toppled buildings, washed away docks, and flooded airports have left this community stranded. Lance Kramer lives close to the seawall in Kotzebue and explains he was scared seeing the high water. I didn't think it would go over the seawall. Others checked on their family members. Some parts of Kotzebue being underwater, and including my mother-in-law's house. I called her and she said there was a mattress floating by. Although Lance and Michelle were not directly affected by the storm, others were. And as winter approaches, the urgency for repairs and assistance is greater than ever. How are you going to get insulation, right? How are you going to get plywood? Everything costs a lot of money. Parts of town that are not protected by the seawall. Um, <clears throat> multiple homes with water damage due to the high waters. The city is working to establish an emergency evacuation center. So far, about 38 residents needed shelter. Starting the logistics on getting a survey out to residents to see exactly what is damaged. Governor Dunleavy has declared a state disaster emergency. The National Guard is being deployed to help. City leaders are working to create a short-term plan to extend the seawall and prevent future flooding. LaShawn Donaldson, Your Alaska Link.